Hello everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm literally just saying hello on a purple day. The plants are doing good, the hummingbirds are out. Purple kale, isn't that beautiful? I love purple. And here's more purple stem. This is the, um, oh my goodness, it's having a little issue but it should come back. The purple Russian kale and then of course my tri-colored sage. Isn't that gorgeous? But you know what? The only thing I really want to share with you this morning, and of course my dazzling blue kale that I picked and sprouted here and it's doing really good, is I wanted to share with you my purple basil that has gone to seed. It went to flower and now it's going to seed and it is developing seeds. See the seeds here? You can probably see the seeds. They're just starting. And they're developing in there and I'm going to try to collect the seeds but that's not what I wanted to show you. You see it. You're screaming. Wait a minute. Do you see it? Look at this. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen and it's I think it's the only one on the plant. It's a caterpillar. I still don't know what type of caterpillar but what I'm so amazed at is it ate this leaf. It's eaten very little. It ate a little bit off of that leaf. No biggie. And I only use a few leaves here and there. The color. Look at the color of the caterpillar. He blends in totally to the plant. Look at that. That is just amazing. I'm not sure yet if it's a green caterpillar that has turned this color by eating the purple leaves or if it's a special type I will see if I can find out but I just walked out on the deck kind of just walked through it's early in the morning and I hummingbirds like I said are all coming out for their food I'm filling their feeders and I walked upon this and I walked by and I thought look at this the coloring is amazing he was wrapped around and he keeps wrapping himself around and he looks like he's part of the plant. I mean, I literally, anybody would walk by him. The birds haven't seen him, thank goodness. And it's a caterpillar I have never seen before. I've looked around, I don't see any more on the plant, but you know, the way they blend in, there could be another one. I am just amazed at the coloring, and that's all I wanted to share with you, is you know how nature works and how beautiful it is. Am I going to pick them off and get rid of them? No, I'm not. There's so much. This plant is so big and the plant is doing really, really well. And I'm going to leave him. I, he's, I don't know what he is, if he's a moth or a butterfly. He's not doing much damage. I'm not going to worry about it. The way these caterpillars go, they're only there for about two weeks. They're literally fast. The eggs are laid and then they hatch sometimes in a matter of days to a week. And then as far as when they're going to turn into a cocoon and disappear, that's another fast process. Usually within three weeks they're totally gone. A lot of them are a cocoon in two weeks. So I'm going to leave him. Whatever happens to him happens to him. He's not eating that much so he ate the leaf. He ate it nice and cleanly off. He ate a little bit of that and then he came out to enjoy the sun that just rose and that's when I saw him. Isn't he beautiful? He's just absolutely beautiful. I think what amazes me more than anything is how he blends in how it all works. I mean, of course, if he didn't blend in, well, then he would have an issue because then he would stand out and a bird would be flying by and see him. But he blends in so well. It's like I saw a little bird in the garden yesterday and he's off color. He's a pied. He is not the proper color. And I'm so afraid that he's going to be picked off by a hawk because he stands out like a sore thumb when he's in the trees. Well, normally with nature, what happens with as you know, they blend into the, their surroundings. So they're camouflaged, as he is. Totally, really camouflaged. When he wraps around, you don't even see him. You would have to really look for him because see how the leaves and the flowers and the dried flowers are all different colors? That's kind of the color he is, the different colors of the leaves. Another way you can tell if you've got caterpillars on your plants is you'll find their droppings and that is their droppings there and you'll spot that if you're looking for hornworms and you'll see the droppings a lot of times first before you, you even see the caterpillar. But today I just wanted to share that quickly. 
I know it's not much on gardening, it's more on nature, but it was just something I was so amazed at. Even Gary came running out and took some photographs and videos of it to have because it's just beautiful. It's just so beautiful. The coloring is absolutely amazing. It's just, I find that amazing. All right, well, I'll have to remember to collect some seeds so I can get some more purple basil growing. This is the only purple basil I think on the property. I bought one plant and put it in my garden up here on the deck and it's done beautifully and the leaves are gorgeous. See, they're green and purple and just beautiful. But I never moved him. I may have touched him, but I never moved him. I found him in the morning, early, on top as you saw him, on top of the flowers. And now as the sun is coming out and more and more birds are flying around, he has decided to go under the leaves. And now nobody can see him. And I would have never seen him where he's sitting now had I walked by just an hour or so later. So here he is the next day. Couldn't find him. I looked all over and guess what? He's wrapped around the very top where the flower is going to open on this purple basil and I just didn't see him. Look how he's camouflaged in there. And I will have to say that he eats very little compared to a hornworm who really devours your plant. He seems to be eating what's in between the flowers. So I'm not sure what he's eating, but he likes to get in there and kind of eat underneath the flowers. And I cannot even find any leaves that he's really made major damage on. Even from yesterday, I, he kind of is a very neat eater. He finishes the whole leaf and then you don't see the damage, which is another way of not spotting him. So our little purple worm, our new friend, is still here today. I'm going to end this with saying, I do not know what type of worm it is. The most common on basil is your cutter worm, which it is not a cutter worm. They live in the soil. The second one would be a looper, and he's absolutely not a looper, as he has all those legs. As you saw, he, he crawled about. Looper's loop. He is not a looper. And the other common one is an army worm. He's not the right coloring, and that could be. He isn't the right coloring. But what I'm thinking is he might be a type of army worm that has picked up the color off the basil which has got into his body and it has rechanged his coloring to whatever it was supposed to be by nature to camouflage him but also as he ingests the purple it changed his body color and that's my thought i did some research on a bird once and found that a green bird was truly red long detail into that but the point is what you see sometimes is not what you get. So I think what he did was he has ingested the purple, which has changed his coloring. And now he looks different than he, what he normally would be. Whatever, everything I read online suggests to remove any worms and destroy them and take them off your basil. But you know what? He's the only one. He's done no damage. He's not bothering me. And I'm going to leave him be. And when he turns into a cocoon and disappears, he most likely will be a moth of some sort. And that's fine with me. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Leave the caterpillars. Let them do their things. Eat the leaves. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.